Hi, welcome aboard Drunken Boat. Today we're going to be looking at the various ways that we're going to be doing the de-rusting on the barge. Um, you've probably seen the last video, we've got rust of all different sorts here on the side, everything from the completely shot to really quite good. So uh, I'm going to run through the various bits and pieces that I'm trying out on the various areas to see which uh, gets the rust off best. Um, as, uh, last video um, I said that I was going to be clearing all the muck out and uh, I'll do a short video of that so uh, so it's not to waste your time. Got a little bit of speed up footage for you. Right, hope you enjoyed that. Um, as I said before, different bits of rust, so no one thing is going to see to all of it. So um, I'll show you what I've been doing, and um, yeah, we'll have a little look see at the tools, and then we'll have a little bit of video of them working on the bits of rust. So I'm um, going to be using some air tools on the really rusty bits, all the way through to uh, a bit of light sandblasting and angle grinder on the good paint that sort of thing and um, yeah they've also obviously got the detail around the rivets which uh, slows things off uh, it's not too difficult to get rid of just makes sort of things slow and down here amongst the ribs we've got um, a lot of old sort of dried dirt and stuff like that which um, again doesn't take a lot of effort to get off but uh, makes things sort of a little bit more uh, problematic uh, Problematical, problematic as we um, as we go along so um, yeah let's have a look see what we're doing right these are the items that I'm going to be using first off on the thick rust uh, I'll be using a, a small air chisel here um, it seems to do the job pretty well you'll see that I've got a rubber band running from the actual chisel through to the back this is something I saw someone uh, or one or two people on YouTube uh, using um, it just means that uh, the rubber band keeps the chisel bouncing back into the uh, the holder itself I started off without that and <laughs> I happily stuffed it through a soft part of the uh, the hull so uh, that's a lesson learnt uh, and now I've got this I don't have to put anywhere near as much pressure on it to get the uh, the chisel to work so we starting off with that then around all the uh, details and the uh, smaller parts where the chisel can't get in I've got a uh, needle gun attachment which I fit in which uh, is good it's not uh, great for a lot of it but just those bits around the corners and the details where panels meet uh, it's fantastic gets in there and gives a really sort of good harsh result so I'll be using those two on the really rusty parts around the water line then when it comes to the upper parts um, where there's still obviously a lot of paint on there and there's hardly any rust at all uh, these are far too industrial won't have any effect on that so I'm using at the moment I'm using a combination of this uh, twisted wire uh, wire brush in the angle grinder uh, which makes a really nice job of that it's uh, it doesn't polish over the top so much it's so so 
rough and gnarly in there that it really gets stuck in, takes the rust off. And at the moment for the details around the rivets and the corners, I'm just uh, experimenting at the moment with this little, what I would call a, uh, a toy sandblaster. It's, uh, it, it, it's nothing like the real deal, but it's um, yeah, just giving me a chance to see how well it does on things. And uh, as time goes on, I might well upgrade and well, obviously time and money upgrade to uh, a serious bit of kit. But at the moment, um, there's so much of the barge is the deep rust that um uh, th that this wouldn't really get sort of you know play a role uh, i'm just expanding with some uh, crushed glass in that though i've heard garnet's very good as well so yeah i'll be sort of doing some experiments with that as well uh, and just go to go back um to these tools this is fantastic on the um the rust uh, what rust there is and certainly the sort of dried on dirt and stuff right down in between the ribs on the barge because uh it just comes off in large sections and it just gets underneath and breaks it off uh, like a dream so um, yeah have a little look at the video all I'm going to do first of all is just uh, a little bit with each piece on a section just to sort of you know, show what I'm doing and I've already done a section as well which um, yeah will show you what a section's like when it's pretty much completed so you can see the results as they go um, don't worry about the <laughs> no, you're gonna worry but don't worry about the uh, um, the, the broken parts of the ribs and the rusted away parts between each section because those will all be cut out uh, and replaced with new steel for uh, strength so I'm not at this point I'm not worrying about those areas at all
Right, this is the area that I completed earlier. Um, I'm, yeah, I'm really pleased with it as a first sort of uh, a first shot. The uh, the hard sort of working tools on the deep rust here on the waterline have really chipped it off nicely and across the bottom and around the uh, the rivets really really nice finish and then yeah moving up here onto where there's still paint and everything like that uh, the wire brush is taking it off nicely and then a little bit of sandblasting around the corners and things like that so uh, yeah yeah looking good um, as things go on I'll, uh, I'll certainly sort of be changing things as I see fit uh, uh, yeah, it's a learning process but now I've done it once yeah I can really start, start hammering through this part of the job obviously if you know uh, of much better ways to do it and by that I don't include getting someone else in to do it for me uh, yeah then please pop in some uh, some comments below that would all be sort of uh, very well received thank you very much and um, yeah we'll sort of we'll keep going on um, along this way um, now that we've got an area exposed we're going to sort of be trying out some uh, rust converting um, uh, so solutions as well uh, there's no great rush on uh, getting everything covered up in here we're in the dry and then we're probably when it, it comes to it going to be uh, putting on spray foam insulation so that's a long way down the line so yeah we can put stuff on and have a good look at it see how it's working out uh, and obviously show you guys you know the results of things and uh, yeah choose the best route forward so uh, that's great thanks for watching one thing i discovered after doing this video was the added bonus that all the vibrations on the inside of the barge has meant that all the rust on the outside has fallen off by itself so this is fantastic and means that i'll have to do hardly any work on the outside